Worth the wait, Fedora Linux 35 is here. Posted by Matthew Miller on November 2nd, 2021, 105 comments. Recent posts. From Godot to RPM. How to design a business card with Inkscape. How to rebase to Fedora Linux 35 on Silver Blue. Today, I'm excited to share the results of the hard work of thousands of Fedora project contributors. Our latest release, Fedora Linux 35, is here. While we broke our six release streak of on schedule releases, we felt it was more important to resolve a few outstanding blocking bugs. Fedora believes that software has to be usable to be useful, so while we know that a predictable schedule is important, we also ensure that every release meets our criteria, no matter what the calendar says. A Fedora Linux for every use case. Fedora editions are targeted outputs geared toward specific showcase uses on the desktop, in server, and cloud environments, and for the Internet of Things. Fedora Workstation focuses on the desktop, and in particular, it's geared towards software developers who want a JustWorks Linux operating system experience. This release features GNOME 41, which builds on the reimagining of desktops in GNOME 40, which shipped in Fedora Workstation 34. GNOME 41 includes improvements in power management. GNOME software has also been overhauled in GNOME 41 to make it easier to browse and discover applications. It also introduces Connections, a new client for VNC and RDP-based remote desktop. We've made some improvements in Fedora Cloud for this release. Since many public cloud providers now support UEFI boot, cloud images have hybrid boot support, unifying the legacy, BIOS, and UEFI boot modes. Following the change to BTRFS as the default file system in Fedora Linux 33, Fedora Cloud 35 now uses BTRFS. Of course, we produce more than just the additions. Fedora Spins and Labs target a variety of audiences and use cases, including Fedora Comp Neuro, which provides tools for computational neuroscience and desktop environments like Fedora LXQT, which provides a lightweight desktop environment. New in Fedora Linux 35 is Fedora Kinoite, a reprovisionable desktop system featuring the KDE Plasma desktop. And, don't forget our alternate architectures, ARM ARCH64, Power, and S390X. Desktop Improvements We switched the default audio system to pipe wire in Fedora Linux 34, and now we're improving this by adding the new Wire Plumber Session Manager. Wire Plumber allows for more customization of the policy and rules for audio and video. It provides a richer development experience and adds bindings for most languages. If you enable the third-party repositories that ship in Fedora Linux desktop variants, those repositories are now immediately available. Additionally, enabling third-party repositories now makes selected Flathub applications available via a filtered Flathub remote. This eases access to a curated list of applications that will not cause legal or other problems for Fedora to point to, does not overlap Fedora flatpaks, and works reasonably well. Of course, you can always get the full set of applications available in Flathub by adding the remote. Other updates No matter what variant of Fedora you use, you're getting the latest the open source world has to offer. Following our first foundation, We've updated key programming language and system library packages, including Python 3.10, Perl 5.34, and PHP 8.0. Fedora Linux 35 also includes the 1.0 release of Firewalled, the modern firewall service. We're excited for you to try out the new release. Go to https colon slash slash getfedora.org and download it now. Or if you're already running Fedora Linux, follow the easy upgrade instructions. For more information on the new features in Fedora Linux 35, see the release notes. In the unlikely event of a problem. If you run into a problem, check out the F35 Common Bugs page, and if you have questions, visit our Ask Fedora user support platform. Thank you everyone. Thanks to the thousands of people who contributed to the Fedora project in this release cycle, 
and especially to those of you who worked extra hard to make this another terrific release during a pandemic. Fedora is a community, and it's great to see how much we've supported each other. Be sure to join us November 12th to 13th for a virtual release party. Like this. New in Fedora releases. Matthew Miller. Matthew is the Fedora project leader. You can find him on the Fedora mailing lists or free note as Madam or at Madam on Twitter. Matthew's content on this site is made available under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License or an earlier CCBYSA license. If you need that for compatibility, share all you like, give credit, and let others share as well. 105 comments. Add comment. Brad Smith. As a long-time Fedora user, I am exceedingly grateful for all the hard work that the Fedora team has done, as well as the work of each maintainer and the people contributing to open-source software. A job very well done. November 2, 2021 Reply Robert Varga Yes, waited very much for the release, prepared everything for it, coffee, cake and computer. Thanks for everyone involved. November 2, 2021 Reply Gwendolyn Coffee, cake and computer Arg I forgot to get cake. November 3, 2021 Reply Barry Lloyd Just have to make do with cookies. November 5, 2021 Reply. Slobodan Kale Nick. Cake I A Lie. November 5, 2021. Reply. Merlin Cooper. Great article. Just wanted to point out a typo. This release features GNOME 41, which builds on the reimagining of desktops in GNOME 40, which shipped in Fedora Workstation 40. You met Fedora Workstation 34 face with tongue. November 2, 2021 Reply Ben Cotton Oops. We weren't supposed to disclose the time travel. I've fixed the typo. Slightly smiling face. November 2, 2021 Reply Ryan Thanks Fedora team. Been looking forward to this release for a while. Well done guys slightly smiling face. November 2, 2021 Reply Alexander Kwaskov Torrent ISO was ready yesterday. November 2, 2021 Reply David FYI, I'm getting a 404 on the release notes link. Very excited to upgrade today. November 2, 2021 Reply Inderback Federer Sectin Sok Basarili Berlinix Surum Ubuntu GB Yajin Alma Messina Saciorum November 2, 2021 Reply Kamara Boss Thank you for providing us such a beautiful distribution. I've been using Fedora 34 and I just loved it. I respect and praise the hard work that has gone into it. Thanks again for your efforts. November 2, 2021 Reply Jacek https colon slash slash docs dot fedora project dot org slash n hyphen us slash fedora slash f35 slash release hyphen notes 404 not found. November 2, 2021. Reply. Thomas Shirley. Great news. FYI the release notes link is dead. November 2, 2021. Reply. Stephen. I would like to thank the girls of Fedora for all their hard work. Way to go gals. November 2, 2021 Reply Ederson Tava Agredando November 2, 2021 
Reply Dinu Radhakrishnan Another impressive release. Congratulations, Fedora team. And thanks. November 2, 2021 Reply Vladimir Hooray! November 2, 2021 Reply Renich Awesome! A very nice gift from this incredible community. I am grateful as one can be for this. Never imagined we could get this far. And right on time for Dia de los Muertos in Mexico. Slightly smiling face. November 2, 2021. Reply. John Paolo. Yes, it was a rather nice birthday present, at least for me. And I too am from Mexico. November 6, 2021. Reply. Grow less. Been using Fedora 35 Beta on my laptop for a month now, glad to see it released. November 2, 2021. Reply. Victor R. Awesome. I will try this today. November 2, 2021. Reply. Pavel. Great OS with amazing features and abilities. November 2, 2021. Reply. Pavel. I am a web developer and everything is working super fast without distractions. November 2, 2021. Reply. Jason. Thank you Fedora team, another excellent release, well done. Can't wait for the next one with GNOME 42. November 2, 2021. Reply. Eric. October 10th would upgrade again. November 2, 2021. Reply. Marco. Great. Has anyone tested if on Fedora 35 workstation on laptops, GNOME 41 on Wayland, HDMI external monitors work with the NVIDIA 495 driver like they do on Arch Linux with KDE Plasma on Wayland 5.23.2? November 2, 2021. Reply. Tree. Thanks. Hugely appreciate all the effort and expertise from contributors that goes into this and previous releases. However, on my system upgraded this evening, no sound devices detected, null, HDMI, or Mac USB interface both worked under V34. I could do more to be a pre-release tester, need to up my skills, but if others also experiencing hope feedback helps. November 2, 2021. Reply. Toms. Yep, same for me, no sound devices detected after the upgrade on both of my PCs, the laptop is running the KDE spin, the desktop was installed as GNOME, but as of F34 I've switched to KDE. I did restore the sound by running SystemTL, user enable wire plumber, and SystemTL, user start wire plumber, although I'm not sure if it is the best way of doing it. November 2, 2021. Reply. Matthew Miller. See Fedora 35 common bugs, no sound after upgrade. I hope it's not actually very common, but we've seen a few people with this issue, and so we made sure it's documented there. If those instructions don't help, it's basically what Tom suggests, but in a one-liner, Ask Fedora is probably the best place for next steps. November 3, 2021. Reply. Tom's. Thanks, Matthew, for the link and for guiding the project. So that's an easy fix, I'll forward the link to my family members in case they encounter this bug. Other than that this seems like a solid and fine release yet again. And, perhaps, I should participate more into testing. November 3, 2021 Reply Yuriesk I encountered the same issue, and I had to comment out. Hashtag, path equals slash usr slash bin slash pipewire media session args equals. At the end of the slash etc slash pipewire slash pipewire dot conf file. 
November 3, 2021. Reply. David. I was halfway expecting the missing headers thing with my proprietary NVIDIA drivers, but that went fine, and G-Sync works with SDDM Greeter again, woo however no audio device was detected, out of three that should be, at the first boot of 35, PWMon didn't even twitch when my K5 Pro DAC was turned off and on. The common bugs page you are referring to had a section for this, and enabling the wire plumber service, as a suggested remedy, did just that, and all audio devices are back. Thanks for all the hard work, Stellar OS. November 3rd, 2021. Reply. Tree. Thanks very much. Sound working perfectly now. November 6th, 2021. Reply. M. Salama. Thanks, Matthew. It worked for normal users, but didn't for root. The opinions expressed on this website are those of each author, not of the author's employer or of Red Hat. Fedora Magazine aspires to publish all content under a Creative Commons license, but may not be able to do so in all cases. You are responsible for ensuring that you have the necessary permission to reuse any work on this site. The Fedora logo is a trademark of Red Hat Incorporated terms and conditions.